Okay, uh, today we have black on toilet paper. Some of you guys may be thinking, because I was thinking this, I've never heard of a black owned toilet paper company. So I want to bring awareness to it. I want to tell you guys a little bit about it. I want to tell you how I feel about it, how it feels, okay? And then let's just spread the word. I'm so excited to wipe my with this. <laughs> Today I'm going to be talking about a black owned toilet paper called Real Toilet Paper and it is indeed a life changing toilet paper and here's why. The owner and chief marketing executive's name is Darren Oyekin. He's from Lagos, Nigeria and the really cool thing about this toilet paper is that it is not made from trees. I said hold up, wait a minute. Something ain't right. It's made out of bamboo. And bamboo is super duper eco-friendly because it is the fastest growing plant in the world and it can grow up to three feet in 24 hours. Everything is made without plastic from the box to the tape of the box to the toilet paper being made out of bamboo and to the packaging of each individual toilet paper being made out of bamboo as well. A really, really cool thing about this company and it's something that we love and something that is important to me, especially when choosing, you know, brands to talk about or bring awareness to, which we should all be um, aspiring to be as consumers, which is being a conscious consumer is what I'm going to call it. Conscious consumers are super aware of the companies that they're putting their money into, the companies that we're buying from, and what these companies are supporting, the organizations and the investments that they're supporting. So the really, really cool thing and the thing I'm proud to say that I put my money into just by trying to get a household essential item for myself um, is that every time you purchase real toilet paper, you help somebody else in the world who doesn't have access to a toilet. Um, it seems like, you know, a necessity or a no-brainer in America. As Americans, every apartment, every household has a toilet. But there are a lot of places in the world and there are a lot of countries that actually don't have access to true sanitation systems. I've never been so excited about toilet paper, ever. Inside of the box, it's like, this is what it looks like. And it literally says right here, it says, sit down for what you believe in. And that's exactly what I'm meant to do. It comes in this packaging like this, black, life-changing paper, toilets. There aren't enough of them. That's because they're expensive and use loads of water, leaving 2.4 billion people with no access to a toilet. Your purchase help fund access to clean toilet options for those in need. Thank you, it's tree free. It's BPA free. It's plastic free. It's real paper. Texture has a nice little texture to it. Get into it. Get into this. Uh uh. Get into this. So I'm gonna go try this out. See if I can tell the difference. I'll be right back. Let me go get my dog. I was home with my kid, my bitch. I'm a mother. No drama. I'm bothered. So clap it back, bitch, I'm clapping on the ah! <laughs> Okay. I like it. It's sturdy. It's not too soft. It gets the job done, and it doesn't look as thick as, like, Charmin, which is what I usually buy from the 99 cent store Dollar Tree, but it is very absorbent, to say the least. 
If you like soft tissue, this may not be the tissue for you. But if you like stronger textures, hey, this may be right up your alley. I would recommend this tissue for offices or other public spaces that have tissues with similar textures, except for real toilet paper is better quality. So can I tell the difference between tree-made toilet paper and bamboo-made toilet paper? I cannot. I cannot tell the difference. It feels like it's supposed to feel, and I'm really happy about this. This is dope, like, it feels like regular toilet paper. Um. Pretty good. It's pretty, 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 pretty good. Well, toilet paper is one of those things you need immediately. You don't think of ordering toilet paper online because you're like, I need it today, I need it tomorrow. You cannot go without toilet paper in your home. It is an essential necessity that is needed every single day of our lives right so what they have set up for you is a subscription method so basically you know just to make sure you never run out of toilet paper they have a subscription for every four weeks eight weeks and 12 weeks to be delivered to you automatically so that you don't have to worry about being empty and waiting a week for this to come the shipping was relatively fast um i ordered it and it came in about a week or less um so overall, this is something that I definitely would just transfer over to. Like, I could see myself doing this. I mean, I live in an age and I'm from an era where everything is online anyways, and I barely even shop for clothes in the store. Um, so I would just do the subscription method of this and get this delivered to me, a 24-pack every, what, four to six weeks. It depends on how many people are in your household as well. It depends on if you're in a household by yourself. It depends on if you're in a household with three people you might have to do the subscription every four weeks or every or get two um, so it really depends um, you just don't want to be in a predicament where you're without and then you're waiting for something to ship to you but you know I guess if you have to you're gonna just go get what's convenient but my hopes with this episode is that it's gonna bring to light you know the options out there on the market for toilet paper and that target will have to call up real toilet paper and say hey there's a market for this and if we want to make money we need real toilet paper in target it's about a five six dollar increase on money spent for this brand but when you know the benefits of it when you know what it's going towards when you know you're not using trees when you know that you're helping someone else in the world who doesn't have access to a toilet or sanitation that six dollars six seven eight dollars is inconsequential and if you are a store owner if you own a brick and mortar if you own a shop if you own a bodega they have the link where you can sign up to be an affiliate or a partner and where you can get this as an item and you're stuck in the back on the floor. Mm -hmm. Let's get into it. Because for me, it's like not only am I want to bring awareness to these black owned brands, but I want to make them easily accessible and interchangeable with the mainstream toilet paper that's on the market. Cool. I like this. Really cool. I have a link below with the blacklist i'm rooting for everybody black spreadsheet with the list of essential items from cleaning products um if you're in los angeles i have a list of food places gas stations grocery stores um that are black owned um nail polish nail techs literally everything and it is a working list tell your friend tell your neighbor tell your pastor tell your mama this is where it's at See you guys next time. You like real toilet paper? <laughs>